Y'all know niggas be on CP time. Beyonce, thanks y'all. Yeah, so they had to call someone up to receive the award. And the clown that they called come up there, quote unquote, ends are always, you know, running late. We on, we always on CP time. The audience uh, apparently uh, broke out in laughter, including a, a, a number of, of white people. Uh, this one, one particular white entertainer who uh, I believe is dating this guy from uh, Clutch, uh, the guy that's the agent for uh, LeBron James. I think dating this guy. Can't remember his name now. I, I really don't follow these people. Adele is her name. And so they focused in on her laughing. They said, you know, Adele was laughing too hard. You know, I mean, now, you know, she's dating a, a, a black man. Yeah, the dream. And I'm not familiar with them, but, you know, when you get up on the stage and we become so low as a people to not only using, you know, the N word, but to call another black woman the N word. Uh, to me, it just shows you a people that scream we're in last place. <laughs> the only people who can be proud about using the term as a term of endearment that was used to destroy you. And I don't care how many pseudo history lessons that people give about Ethiopia and the goose. I don't care how many rap albums you listened to when you was growing up that made you comfort, that gave you comfort with using the word. I think that uh, Oliver North said it best when he had a debate with Michael Eric Dyson and Michael Eric Dyson was trying to tell him, uh, convince him why black people should use the word. And Oliver North turned to uh, Michael Eric Dyson and said, boy, we really did a number on your people. <laughs> I, I never saw that. Yeah. I, 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 man, I've been scrounging the internet for years trying to find this clip to play it. Wow. Uh, Asia and the exportation of American manufacturing products and services to foreign lands where we rapaciously and viciously and venomously undermine, subvert, destroy and eviscerate, just mess up all together those local economies. And then we reap the benefits of them back home. We got to understand nigger is a global phenomenon. And if you are a nigger wherever you are, this is why I use the term with promiscuity. I understand that as a nigger in America, there are niggers throughout the world. Can we connect through our core niggerdom to understand the vicious ways in which we have been, in which we have been subverted? And finally.